take a seat and if this gentleman would like to come here and 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 um, introduce yourself and and then you can continue and and then you and then at the end you can say a few words okay so thank you very much Thank you very much, Mr. Marcello. <clears throat> um, I want to thank you very much for uh, for everything that you've done, sir. If I um, if I had a place to stay uh, and uh, if I had uh, the opportunity to meet so many nice people um, and to speak with them about organ donation, raising awareness for this important cause. The credit for all of it uh, goes to Mr. Mar George Marcello, who was uh, here in Toronto every day getting in touch with uh, local media along uh, the path in all the towns that I um, would pass through. And uh, also to get in touch with uh, places that uh, sponsored my stays, because uh, as most uh, university students are very well aware, uh, your last check in April is it lasts until the beginning of May, and then uh, you have to find a summer job. Um, so to just uh, say a little bit about myself, my family, uh, not all of whom are here, my uh, sister, Angela, and uh, her husband, Jeff, and their beautiful uh, angel, Sophia, are in England, but uh, they're, they're here, at least in spirit with me. And the rest of my family is here, and uh, thank everybody that uh, took the time to come out on this uh, drizzly day. Uh, like many immigrants, our family came here uh, in the mid-90s, and uh, people from Afghanistan are yet another wave in Canada in this uh, patchwork quilt of people that have come over the ages, whether it be uh, the Irish, the Greek, uh, the Jewish, the Russians, um, any number of Italians, um, and everybody comes here in the hope and dream uh, of making a better life for themselves and for their children. Uh, that's a, a commonality for uh, all humans, no matter what their color, language, height, weight, anything. Uh, I think that's something we can all, we do all um, wish for and hope for. And yet it's difficult, it's a new life, uh, it takes a lot of getting used to. Um, while we are in a certain position in the countries that we come from, through our hard work and the hard work of our parents and friends, um, when we come here, we have to start from scratch again, from zero. And uh, a lot of times, this experience is uh, it's it's hard. Uh, and sometimes it's necessarily hard because of the nature of it. Other times. It is made harder due to the um, lack of trust that exists, uh, which is, uh, is uh, you know, inevitable amongst people who can't speak each other's language. I think that familiarity with each other, with uh, the customs of another, the language of another, and this is for both sides, that is what uh, breeds uh, openness, a sense of community, a sense of doing and uh, being together. As an immigrant, I am uh, a transplant in this country myself, like everybody else, and uh, in order for us to thrive and for the greater society of Canada to thrive with all its immigrant populations, every single group, we need to uh, make ourselves compatible. That's the choice that we have, which people who are in the condition of uh, end-stage uh, organ failure. They don't have that choice. Uh, it's difficult to find a match. It's uh, random and um, we would l want to encourage people to sign their donor cards. The reason for that uh, is uh, there can be two objections, either religious or uh, I, uh, let's say a, a material, you know, just having, even if you're an atheist or don't believe in a particular religion, I don't see any reason, uh, f any particular reason that's v convincing of why not to be an organ donor. If uh, from the religious aspect, a God that says, 
you know, you save someone's life and I'm going to punish you for that. I don't think that the great religions of the world believe in a, a view like that. Rather, I think it's uh, the opposite that uh, God will see the act of charity, the act of helping another, going beyond uh, and, and responding to someone's need to extend their life, to extend the happiness of their families, their loved ones, um, at, uh, even beyond death or, or while giving a life uh, donation from uh, a liver or another organ. That is uh, not only commended by our society at large, by all humans around the world, but uh, although I don't have any authority, I'm sure that even by God. Um, on the other hand, if it's people who don't believe on, in uh, an afterlife, um, and it's just a material thing, and it's a personal choice, and it just feels uh, wrong, these are things that I heard along the way, and I'll tell you about that uh, in a bit. But if, if, if that is the reason, then uh, if death is the end of life, uh, there's no need. The organs will decompose and turn into dust because that's where it comes from in the first place. Uh, so why not help someone? Why not create happiness? Why not take the burden off of, uh, let's say, the healthcare system, which has, uh, which supports uh, people who are in that condition, and uh, this uh, helps free up money for other things that uh, we might need in society. Um, so. There's, for me, uh, no convincing reason other than just, you know, I, it doesn't feel right, which we need to look into these things. Why? Uh, we need to question uh, what is it about it. Uh, and this is a part of a bigger thing. When I wrote uh, Mr. Marcello, what I, had, I was at the uh, end of my exam period, and I had been uh, speaking to my friends uh, about taking a trip on foot from Montreal to Toronto. And I decided it was too long. Uh, and I, uh, in order to come to Toronto and find a job quickly, I decided to do it from Ottawa to Toronto. Um, and I had no idea what, which road to take, because I know highways you're not allowed to be on. So I just Googled, uh, as Mr. Marcello was saying earlier, I Googled um, how to walk from Ottawa to Toronto. and. The hit that shows up is Mr. Marcello's program, Step by Steps. And um, the answer to that question, how to mar walk from Ottawa to Toronto, the answer is definitely Mr. Marcello, who's done it um, five, six times now. Uh, and uh, he's done uh, the 40 million, is it? 40 million steps. Uh, so the, the, for me, uh, in comparison to what Mr. Marcello has done for this cause over the last 15, 16 years, and continues to do so, um, it's a drop in the sea that uh, uh, what he has accomplished. And um, I commend him for having gone through two different uh, liver transplants while engaged in this. Well, he started walking after the first one, and while he was engaged in these walks and in this campaign and in raising awareness for this cause, he went through a second and continued afterwards. Um, he's uh, definitely been uh, a model to follow for me. He's been a friend. He's uh, helped me out. And this alone, the fact that a stranger helped me, is emblematic of what, to me, organ donation stands uh, for. Because he, as he tol told you, uh, I won't repeat my, uh, the story, but uh, when he asked me, uh, what for me it was interesting because uh, I think as an immigrant I've had conversations with friends of mine uh, where they have said that uh, immigrants are not thankful or not grateful um, for what Canada provides for them and I traveled to Afghanistan last year for two months um, I had the fortune the good fortune to be able to travel by myself from Kabul, the capital city, to Kunduz in the north, and uh, to explore the parts of the uh, country uh, which I had wanted to see since I was a child. And uh, they're sung in Afghani songs. Uh, there's many songs about them. Um, and the province of Badakhshan is one of the, the, my dreams come true, to be able to see that in my life, and at this point in my life. Um, to see my people, my family, uh, my aunts whom I had never seen in my life, to the go to the house where, 
where my mother and my father were married uh, and uh, and had their first children. Uh, so that was, uh, and to be able to see what life really is like in Afghanistan, um, which gave me an appreciation, f a renewed appreciation for what Canada provides. Uh, and it's the generation of immigrants, especially Afghani, who grow up in, um, in a country like Canada, um, that it's really I want to address because we are torn between being from here or being from there, uh, between values and language or uh, food from here and there. But I think all these things can coexist, and they do coexist. Other great people have come to this great country and integrated and become a part of the community and uh, live together in peace and harmony for the betterment of their future generations. And I think that um, whoever else in the future or whoever is already an immigrant here and uh, have gained citizenship here are proud to be here, are happy to be here, and like myself, very grateful to be here. Um, and so when Mr. Marcello offered me the opportunity to walk for this great cause, uh, I, I, I he, as he said, I couldn't say no. Um, it, there was no loss in it for me, and rather, it uh, I saw it as a, a chance to promote what I think uh, is the path to um, happiness for all of us here, since we need to live together in um, the Muslim community, integrated into the greater Canadian society, and that for me is uh, to to engender, to uh, nourish a feeling of coming to the help of someone that you don't know. The, a feeling of openness to respond to the need of someone else. Um, and wherever we can. I don't, I don't believe in, uh, let's say, I, I don't expect, because I, I, I've lived my life, uh, people to be going out and giving love, but at the least uh, we can give each other peace. And uh, although there's no law for <coughs> forcing us to give organ donations, the need of another person is a, a, a feeling that we should encourage because sometimes we're in need and it, we need someone else to come help us. And if we have not done anything to foster this kind of feeling in society amongst all people, then why would we expect someone else to do it for us? And likewise, when we have received something, we have to give it back to the next person in need, because this way we all succeed. We are all helped. Thank you very much.